Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'll quickly show you the most important things you need to know to give you an unfair head start in the process of importing products to your Shopify store with a spreadsheet or a CSV file. Many people just enter products manually in Shopify and that's fine, but if you have hundreds or thousands of products or you already have a product list from a vendor, importing your products from a file is an awesome way to get it done really fast. It does take a time investment up front to create your spreadsheet, but it will definitely save you a ton of time in the long run. So the first step to importing products to your Shopify store is to get a sample spreadsheet file. This is going to be a file that can be um, opened in Excel or Google Sheets, and it's also known as a CSV file. It's comma separated. So there's two ways to do this. You can go to your Shopify store, uh, and if you click import, which is where we're going to go later to import your uh, product list, you can download the sample CSV template. And if you open this file in Excel, it'll look something like this. The important thing is it's gonna have all these headers for you. So these are the fields that must be included in any import file. You don't need to fill all of these fields out, but you do need to have a file that includes all of them. So you can work off of this sample file and add your product information into it and then upload it to Shopify. So another good option, if you already have some products entered or if you wanna enter two or three of your products, just as an example, enter a few products that are just typical of the type of products that you're gonna to add to your store. After you have those entered, you can then export products. So what that's gonna do is export your list of products that are currently entered into a CSV spreadsheet file that you can open in Excel. This option might be the better option for most people just because it's gonna give you a product list that's formatted in the way that your products have already been entered. So you'll get a look at the file in the format that you are likely gonna to need to use to enter additional products. So a lot of Shopify sellers are working with vendors that have product lists. So I'm working with a client now who has this product list from a vendor and it's a good complete list. We're gonna be able to use it to import products, but you can't just take this file and then upload it to Shopify and change the options. You need to actually take all the data and put it in the correct format for a Shopify import. So one important tip I'll give you is just to start with a few products to get your spreadsheet file in the correct format. You can continually import and re-import um, your product file and overwrite the uh, previous products. So don't feel like you need to create and uh, complete your entire product list before you upload the products. You can just do a few at a time to make sure you have the formatting correct. Once you have it looking the way you want and presented, on your store in the correct way or the way you want it to look, you can then begin to enter all your other products. So what I've started to do in this example is take some of the product data from the vendor. You see they have a SKU, a UPC, product title. They have a description in the form of like five bullet points. And then they also have images and weight. So they have five image URLs. And then they have pricing. So basically what I did is I took that info and I'm creating two products just to test in the Shopify sample document. So this has all the correct headers at the top and I need to make sure that I have the um, required ones filled out. They're not all required. And I'm not gonna go through each one. There are some other videos on YouTube that go through each one, but the best way to learn what each of these fields is and whether or not you need them is to go to the Shopify help document. And I'll link to this file in my description under the video but there's some useful instructions on here. There's also a video to help you understand CSV files and how you import products. But the important thing you wanna go through is this CSV file format uh, table here, which actually describes each of the fields and it tells you which ones can be left blank, what the default values are. So if you read through this, you'll understand which ones you're gonna need and maybe which ones you can just leave blank. And keep in mind, you can always edit and re-upload the product list later if you wanna add more info. So let me just show you a few of the elements of these two products that I added, and it'll give you kind of a head start to understand the different fields in Shopify import file. So the first column, column A, is called handle. This is gonna be the URL of your product, and it's gonna be required for every line of your sheet. The reason there's five in a row is because there's either variations of this product. You see there's um, three color variations, which is called option one name and option one value. And then the reason there's two more that are totally blank except for the image is because I'm adding two extra images to this product. So there's a total of five images 
that are going to be uploaded from a URL. So for this file, I do have the handle, um, which again is a URL that's going to show up. I'm using the title. You're going to have to have a title. It's a product title. Um, body is a description. You don't have to use vendor, but I'm using vendor here. Published is going to be true or false. And then the option or variation. So for this product, I have three colors. So color is the title of the variation. And then this is the actual value. My second product here does not have variation. So I just leave the default title and default title for option name and value. If I scroll over, you can see some of the other fields I'm using, like the skew uh, grams is the weight. So the weight is always in grams. You can display it on your site as pounds but you'll need to upload it in gram. So you might need to use a conversion here in your original document, use a formula to convert to grams. Variant inventory is one um, by default, I believe, but you can change it to whatever you want. Variant inventory policy I have as deny. So then I have pricing um, and then I have a barcode. And then again, I have the image URLs bunch of other fields here that you don't need to use. Another tip to make the spreadsheet more manageable because you might be working in it for hours is to hide certain columns. So to do this, if you know you're not going to use them and you can always add them back later or unhide them, you select the columns and then right click and say hide and it's going to create this little mark here telling you that there are hidden columns. So I might hide these two if I know I'm not going to use them. And that's just going to make the work a little bit quicker. All right, so now that I have these two products mostly complete, I need to save this file. It's probably already a CSV file, but in Excel, you can go to Save As. Make sure you select CSV, which is a .CSV file. Save it. I'm going to replace the file. Go back to my Shopify account, go to Products, and click Import choose a file. I'm going to click overwrite existing products and you're going to want to do this in the future too if you um, you know are making edits to your file and want to overwrite instead of creating new products. It actually won't, if you, if you leave this unchecked, it won't create new products. It just won't create anything or edit anything. I'm going to click choose file, choose that CSV file I had selected or I had saved, click upload. It's going to give me a sample of the first line of data and tell me kind of a summary of what's being uploaded. That's a good way to just check to make sure you have things formatted correctly. And then click Start Import. It can take a few minutes depending on how big your file is. Mine will go pretty fast since I only have a few lines. Okay, so once those products have been imported, two of them are imported, one of these was added manually by me, I can go to my um, live site and go to the product catalog and see the products that were uploaded. It does upload the uh, images from your URL that you added. You can see my description, my pricing, my compare price. Here's the title and the vendor. So depending on what theme you're using, you'll see what the product looks like um, based on your upload. You may need to tweak it and then re-upload the file. So it has the five images that I added from five URLs. So one of the time consuming parts of uploading is kind of error checking and debugging. You're definitely going to get a lot of errors when you upload and create a brand new sheet. So it's just a matter of getting the right formatting and correcting all the errors. So for example, if I was to delete this um, B header row for title, save the file and then re-upload it, I'll get an error. So I'm going to re-upload the test file, select to overwrite, and it's going to give me an error right here, missing headers title. So it checks the file for all the headers. It's not there, so I'll get an error. So obviously in that case, just having the title header in there is going to fix it. But after it gets past that initial check, uh, you will get an email telling you if products were successfully added. So here's what that email looked like on that last import I did. It says two products successfully imported zero product, existing products ignored and zero products failed. If any did fail, it'll probably give me errors down here. So there's two levels of error checking that you'll need to debug to get your products importing correctly. So just to give you an example of an error you might see in the email um, confirmation that comes, I can delete one of the values from this color variation and save and re-upload that. 
And actually that error was caught in this um, upload check and it says line two to six option value provided for unknown options. So I made another change. What I did is I copied this SKU to this line here, which is only meant to be adding an image for this row number eight. So there's an image over here that's being added, but there's no other information. So if I just add a SKU here, what it does is it will import correctly, but it'll give me this error in the confirmation email. And it's a long error. It won't always be this long, but it's basically telling me all these different required rows, all these different required fields are missing in line seven to 11. So that just gives you an example of what these error checks will look like in the confirmation email. So one product was successful and the second product here failed to import. So if I were to remove this here, it'll view it correctly as um, just adding an image and it'll import uh, correctly and get rid of that error. So you'll probably find different errors showing up depending on the formatting and the mistakes that you've made. But one quick tip is to just search for that um, error. Whatever error you get in here, like um, variance.inventory policy is not included, just search this in Google and it'll probably bring up some tips or answers to this problem, this error in the Shopify forums or the Shopify help uh, documents. So one last tip I do want to share is after your products are all imported correctly, uh, you can still go into your products and edit them manually. So if I were to click on this one that was imported, you can still make all the changes you want. Add images, delete images, change pricing, all the things you're used to doing in Shopify. You can then export the file to get a new revised version of your file. Just make sure you aren't making changes on the product list and on your Shopify store because you might end up with two different versions. You want to keep a master version and make sure you're using the most updated version, whether you're making changes on the document and re-uploading or manually making changes to your products in your Shopify store. So I hope that helps you get a head start into importing products into your Shopify store. Make sure to read that help document at Shopify. That's going to give you a head start. And then if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction. Make sure to subscribe and watch some of my other videos on Shopify. I'll link to one of them at the end of this video and we'll see you there.